Right, I've got the most clearest, easy to understand, not rush, solo Easter egg guide for the um, New Industries Challenge for the Easter egg guide in Blood of the Dead. And I'm not going to rush it, I'm going to show you everything. So, I've just completed the bird step. I've got my old guides for that, super clear, how to get to this point. I've placed the book onto the skeleton, wait for the box to start going rogue, and then you want to press square or X um, onto the box to stop it on a certain page. And then you want to get your shield out, look at it, it's going to show you three numbers. For me in my game, it was 874. Um, if you see a number with a line through it, if, it's, uh, if it looks like a 1, it's going to be a 4. If it looks like a 7, it's going to be a 4 as well, if it's got a line through the, through the, through the number. So input the, um, the numbers you found on the book into the number panel, 874 for me. You're going to see it blink, that means you've bossed it. And one of the five challenges will spawn. So to find the challenge, you're going to be um, basically going around the map to try to find a red light that's coming from the lighthouse. Um, when you see a red light, this is the new Industries one, you want to get your shield out and spirit blast it. So this challenge is probably the hardest one for me. Um, it, was, it was annoying. I've failed many times at this, but I know exactly what to do. Hopefully you've got the upgraded shield, because that means you can carry four spirit blasts instead of just the two. And so you want to spirit blast that red orb, and that's going to basically start the challenge. But I'm going to start the next round, and I'm going to get me um, shield up to four spirit blast. You're going to need them for this challenge, and it's pretty tough, um, but I'm going to show you what to do. You want to start the next round, and you want to get your shield up to full of the four spirit blasts. You want to leave two zombies at the end of the round, and you want to come over to the old spawn area of Mob of the Dead. So, once you spirit blast the orb last round, this round, you're going to kill a zombie in the spawn area here, right now. So here we go, a zombie comes, I'm going to shoot it, and a ghost will spawn in spirit mode. And all you do is spirit blast it, here we go, spirit blast it, boom. And then you're going to hold the trigger button to keep charging it. Keep on charging it until the ghost kind of buggers off your charge, and that is one out of five charges complete. Like I said, your um, shield can only carry four um, charges at a time, and you want to do this five times. So I'm on to my second go now. I've left a zombie at the end of the round to make it a little easier. Here we go, this is the second spirit blast. I'm going to charge him up, and basically you've got to charge him up five times before he reaches the spawn area. So I'm going to show you this throughout. So that's two out of five done. I'm going to Spirit Blast him again, but look, I've run out of Spirit Blasts. So that's why the last round I charged up my Spirit Blast, um, so I got him on full. But luckily enough, I had an in-dead, no, undead man walking, not in-dead, which makes them all to shamble in walking speed for a minute. So what I did was charge up my shield. The ghost will be heading towards spawn, which is, you can just see it down there. So I know where he is. So I'm just charging up my shield, because I need to Spirit Blast him another two to three more times. And obviously I had no more Spirit Blast left, so I'm waiting until my Undead Man walking is on half. You can just see it. There we go, I'm going to um, charge up my last one there. And then I'm going to run past the zombies, and with half of me Undead Man walking left, I'm going to go try to charge the ghost up. And it's, uh, it's pretty mental, is this? It's very tough, I must say, but Undead Man walking helps a lot. So for a third time, I Spirit Blast the Ghost, and I'm charging him up. And he's getting closer to spawn now, so here we go, fourth time, charging him up. When he gets redder, that means you're doing good. Um, so this is the fourth time now. And boom, it's actually worked. Four Spirit Blasts actually did it. Um, so yeah, so once the Ghost is fully red, and he's moving by himself, that means you've done it. So you want to... Make your way to spawn, and there's one more thing you need to do. So watch out for that ghost. And basically, you're going to be turning a trap on, and it's going to kill the ghost. So I'm going to show you exactly what to do now. So you've done the hard part now, fellas. You've charged the um, ghost up four times, um, and life is good right now. So don't die, or you're going to absolutely cry. Mal. Yeah. So the ghost is heading towards this location in New Industries. You want to turn on the trap before it gets to it. So I'm going to turn on the trap now. The trap will kill the ghost. And you've bossed it, fellas. You'll see a red orb drop and you can go pick up the red orb. If you don't put on the trap, fellas, 
um, the ghost will, will die, but it won't drop this red orb. But you need this red orb, and that is one out of five challenges complete. If you have any more questions about this challenge, put them in the comments. And uh, yeah, go check out me next video on the next challenge, and I'm showing you the whole Easter egg steps in mini videos. And also, if you do fail any challenge, you just go back to the book next round, get a new set of numbers, and go to the number panel, input them into the number panel, and a new challenge will spawn. It could be the same challenge you just did, or it could be a different one.